welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So today I have like a mix of a few things I want to share with you guys. So the first thing I want to share is I want to do some home updates. I filmed an Amazon favorites video for you guys a couple of days ago and I got so many questions about Lizzie, can I talk to him? Get down, baby girl. I got so many questions about um, some of the new things you saw in that video, like some furniture. So I wanna share with you guys that. I'll link it down below. Also, we need to do some cleaning as well. I just made like a big mess in the kitchen. I made lunch earlier, and then I didn't fully have it clean from last night, so my kitchen is like trashed. So I figured we would clean that. And then lastly, I'm making a delicious dinner recipe tonight. So I wanna share that with you guys. So we're just gonna be spending the day together, right, Lizzie girl? <laughs> we're just gonna be hanging out today, but let's go tackle the kitchen. But yeah, before I share with you guys all those home updates, we have to tackle this kitchen. I was meal prepping, cooking, like so much going on at one time. So the kitchen is literally trashed. So let's get all this stuff put away, cleaned up, and then I'll share with you guys the home updates. Look at these beautiful roses, you guys. Ryan got them for me. I just changed the water. That's the key to keeping your roses to last a lot longer is changing out the water daily. I find that keeps them fresh a lot longer and they smell so good. You gonna help mama clean, Lucy girl? <laughs> She's excited. You have your toy? Good girl. Good girl, Lucy. <laughs> and I wanted to share with you guys this cup. I've had mine for probably like six months now. I got it from Target. I will link it below. I have tons of Yetis, but I must say, I think I like this cup better than Yeti. It is by the brand Reduce. And it is so good, you guys, because it's massive. It has a handle on it and a straw. I know Yetis, you can order like a handle attachment to go in your Yeti. Um, I haven't done that, but having a handle is like a game changer because it's such a big cup and it makes me drink so much more water. So I'm on number three of these, about to refill it up and I add lemon. So good, I drink so much water when I have it in this cup and it just keeps the ice like, the ice is still in here and I put it in here like a couple hours ago. So I'm gonna refill this up and then we really are gonna clean this time. Whenever I clean the kitchen, I love to gather all the trash, get that thrown away, get all of the dirty dishes, get things put off the counter. I like to gather the dirty dishes to the island so that way when I start washing, I don't forget about anything. So once we kind of get the counters a little bit clean, we're gonna go ahead and start on washing all the dishes. I just start doing again is wearing gloves when I'm cleaning the kitchen. I got these gloves from Amazon. I actually talked about these on my YouTube channel like a year or two ago. I always wore gloves to wash dishes and then I kind of stopped for a little bit, but I love wearing them for a few reasons. One, it protects your hands. Two, I love it because I don't have to take my wedding ring off when I'm washing dishes. And then the third reason I like wearing it is because it protects my nails from cracking or breaking whenever like I'm scrubbing down something. So it has a lot of benefits. So I I will link these down below for you guys. They're great, it comes in a three pack. I think it's like a pink color, a blue and a green and I keep some in the bathroom but I always use the pink ones for the kitchen.
another reason I like wearing my gloves is because you can have the water as hot as you want it without burning your hand. So I feel like it just does a really good job cleaning when you use super hot water. So now I'm cleaning at the top of the stove. I did tons of cooking, like I told you guys, so a lot of food fell down there. I like to use Dawn Power Wash to kind of scrub away the grime. And then if you want to do an extra step, you can follow up with some glass cleaner and that gets it super shiny. And then I love using the Dawn Power Wash on the little racks as well and just kind of scrubbing it with my sponge to get them super clean. let you guys know a couple of shows you should check out on Netflix what I have been watching so the first one is Raising Dion that just came out with a new season on Netflix and it is so good you guys have to check out Raising Dion and then the second show I've been loving it just came out the new season as well is Sweet Magnolia that is such a good show too so Raising Dion and Sweet Magnolia definitely check those out and if you've seen them let me know what you think of those shows <music> have the dishes all washed. I'm going to go ahead and dry them, put them away, dry this little drying mat. All this stuff that I use in my videos is linked to my Amazon storefront. So definitely make sure to check that out. The soap pumps, that little drying rack, tons of things. I have everything categorized. So definitely check out my Amazon storefront, which is always linked down in the description box for you guys. Kissing my neck and grabbing my leg, pushing me backwards into your bed. Baby, you are all I need, but I don't want to dive too deep, too deep. I can feel the tension. Another bottle of this wine, I'll be up in your space. Love and affection ain't got nothing on me. No, that's not what I need. Maybe on another day, I'd encourage you to make me stay, but baby, I'm just trying to numb my brain and wrap my head around this whole thing. When you're kissing my neck and grabbing my leg, pushing me backwards into your bed. So I love this spray because it's a multi-surface spray and it's also a disinfectant spray as well. So I used it as a multi-surface spray on the counters and wiped it, but if you want it to disinfect, it states it has to sit on the counter for 10 minutes and it says you do not have to wipe it dry. So I'm gonna go ahead, I went ahead and sprayed it in the sink, let that sit for 10 minutes, and I'm gonna spray all the counters down as well. And I just like to do this every couple of days to just disinfect my counters. You can love somebody else until you're loving yourself. I need some direction before we dive into these sheets. Maybe on another day, I'd encourage you to make me stay. I love this rice cooker. So you can cook your rice and then it can just stay on your counter for several days and it will keep your rice like fresh and warm. It's really good when I meal prep. I'll meal prep out like a big batch of brown rice and then I'll add this to my grain bowl. So I'll just add protein and vegetables and then I already have my rice done. So it's so nice. Um, and then this is the chicken we're gonna need later on for the recipe. So I'm thawing this out. Okay guys, I'm about to flip you around and I'm gonna share with you guys the few home updates that we have. It's just a few of them, but I seriously love them. So, do you guys see the first one? All right, let me flip you around. 
All right, so our first home update is our brand new olive tree. So I have been wanting this olive tree for a really long time. It is by the Studio McGee collection at Target, but it has been sold out, you guys, for several months. I just pulled it out the box last night, so I do need to still like fluff out the branches some more, but I seriously love it. Like, I feel like it's what the family room needed to kind of just like make it feel more alive. I love the pot that it comes in and the leaves look very realistic to me. It has like the lighter color underneath and they just look very, very real. So as soon as I fluff it out, I think it will look a lot better. Um, and I think I'm gonna keep it here. I was undecided if I wanted to do it like over in the corner or by the TV and I think it just looks really good. In the family room, it needed like something over here. So I will link this below. It is always out of stock. So make sure to turn on the in stock notifications and you have to be so fast you guys when it comes in stock because it sells out like so fast. But I think it is worth every single penny because it's just such amazing quality and I love like the moss on top and this pot it's in is like really good quality. So I'm definitely impressed with it and I'm so glad. I wanna get one for my office as well, but I don't need one this large for my office. So I'm going to try to find a smaller one um, on Target and order it for my office. So now coming over here, I wanted to share with you guys this little nook. I need to like reposition the chairs, but I seriously love this table. This is from Target. It's right under $100. I think I paid $90 for it. And I'm not sure if it's by the Magnolia Hearth and Hand Collection or the Studio McGee Collection, but either way, I will link the table below. Um, it has been out of stock, so I can't order it. I've waited, I've waited, I've waited. I wanted another one for my office because I got a beautiful lamp from Target that I'm about to share with you guys that I wanted to put it on one, but I waited for a couple of weeks for this to come in stock, never did. So what I did was I went on Google, look at Blissy, she just loves looking out the window. But I put in um, wooden table with black legs and another almost identical table came up from Target, you guys. So keep in mind, I spent $90 on this table. I'm about to take you guys in my office and share with you like a almost identical version for a fraction of the price. Like I can't believe it. But this table is amazing quality. I would have gotten two of them if they had it, but I'm kind of glad they didn't have it because I discovered something new. So now I'm gonna take you guys um, in my office. Before we head in my office, I wanna share with you guys how my coffee table setup looks. So I shared these marble links with you guys in my Amazon favorites video and I love them. Like, I think it looks so good on my coffee table. I think that is so, so cute. So I will link these below as well because they're such a good Amazon find, such amazing quality and it really just like fills up the space on my coffee table. All right, now we're in my office. I'm gonna share with you guys the home updates in my office. So just a couple, by the way, this candle from Aldi smells amazing. Cucumber and Citrus by Huntington Home. You guys got to try Aldi candles by now. They were $3.99, but they went up. So I think they're now like $4.20 or something along those lines, but still a really good deal. Smells amazing. I actually just blew it out because I wasn't in my office, but it has my whole office still smelling amazing. Anyway, back to the home update. So I filmed my Amazon video here and I got a few comments asking about some of the items that you guys saw. I got some DMs, so you guys clearly noticed what was new. So let me go ahead and go over it. So if you aren't following me over on Instagram, you definitely should. I just posted a reel and I shared with you guys a little home goods haul and that's where that leopard blanket came from. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it here. I just got it because I had been seeing so many people share barefoot dreams um, blankets and they're over $100 and I just didn't wanna pay that. So I saw this like barefoot dreams dupe at home goods and it was like 25 bucks. I was like, I have to get it. It's so, so soft. I actually used it this morning when I was editing and I love it. So I don't know if it's gonna stay there, but definitely gonna get a lot of use out of it. So if you're new here, this chair came from World Market. I will link it down below for you guys. Love it, amazing quality. I've had it since, I think I got it over the summer and I'm obsessed with it. And then this is the table, you guys. So doesn't it look so similar to the table in my living room? Only difference is it has like a little bottom portion to it, which I love. So. When I tell you guys the price of this table, you are going to flip out because I flipped out. I couldn't believe the price. I thought it was like um, an error on the website. It was $20, you guys. Like this side table was $20. It's amazing quality. Like 
really good quality. It's not solid wood or anything like that, but definitely gets the job done. And I thought these would be beautiful for nightstands, like in a guest room for 20 bucks. Are you kidding me? Like they're so high end, they look so nice. And then this lamp is what I told you guys about in my Target shop with me. I told you I was gonna have my eyes on it. I wanted to see it in person before ordering it online. And my store finally got them in stock and I had to snag it. I immediately knew that I wanted to put it in my office. I really wanted a little corner in my office that I could sit at and edit on my laptop if I want to, where I can film at. I just wanted this area to get a lot of use. So I have been loving to have this lamp here. Now, this lamp is amazing quality. Do you guys see the base? It actually has a dimmer. So the light bulb inside, you can make it like super bright. Let me share it with you guys. So you can make it super bright and you can also dim it down. So if you don't like it that bright, you can just dim it a little bit. Um, I don't know what I just did, but yeah, you can dim the light to make it not so bright. So it just fits the vibes of my office so well. Like, look how good it looks, you guys. So love that. So I will link this side table down below. I will link the lamp down below. The lamp is kind of pricey for Target. I was surprised when I saw the price. I think it was $90, but I loved it. And it compares to a designer lamp that's like over $300. So I was like, you know what, 90 is not bad. And I think it just makes my office look so, so beautiful. I also wanna add some more pumpus grass in this, like the big, huge pumpus grass. I think I saw it on Crate and Barrel and it's like massive. And I wanna move this with the pumpus grass over there next to this little corner. And then over here, I would love to add another olive tree, but I have to find the perfect one for my office because the ceilings aren't nearly as high in my office um, than they are in the living room. So I don't need that huge one. I just want like a really nice, maybe like a seven and a half foot one would be perfect in my office. So I'm gonna see if I can find one on Target. I found one, but I didn't like the vase it came in. So I may buy that and then order another vase for it. So we'll see, but yeah. These are the little updates in my office. Doesn't the lamp look so cute in here? Like, seriously love it. So it's three o'clock. I'm not quite ready to start on dinner yet. I wanted to share with you guys me organizing my tea. So this was the acrylic organizer I shared with you guys in my Amazon favorites video. I have so much tea and I actually have a Target pickup order for some more tea because I love having different flavors, but we just didn't have space. So now that I have space, I definitely wanna add some more tea to it, but I figured we could add the tea I do have and get it in my pantry. So let me grab all the tea and then we'll get this organized. This is how I currently have the tea organized and just like this acrylic container, but it can't fit all of my teas. I just spilt this tea all over, so. Um, yeah, I just think it's gonna be much better in this. I will make sure to link this down below because how brilliant is this, you guys? Like, it's gonna be so much better than this current setup right here. you guys my tea looks so much better and I have so much more room like I didn't even use that back compartment on either one of these so like I still have so much space for my new tea but I won't buy this tea again I was looking for like a really good green tea that was decaffeinated and I found this one but it's not in um this wrapper so I don't know if it's good for me to keep in there or not I may have to I'm actually probably going to put these back in the box so that way they stay fresh or at least in a ziploc bag so I won't buy these ones anymore but the yogi teas are my 
favorite, favorite teas. That's what I have for my pickup order. I love their detox tea, their stress relief tea. I think they have a deep bloat tea. They just have really good teas. So that's probably my favorite brand. Green tea, I have some turmeric ginger tea. So yeah, I have so much space still in this little tea organizer to add some more tea but that looks so much better. All right, now we're in my pantry and this pantry needs to be restocked. Like I need to go through it and restock a whole lot. Um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna put in this guy. I had some pasta in here, but this is coconut sugar, pancake and waffle mix. I need to figure out something to put in this one. But anyway, um, I think the tea organizer looks so good in my pantry, I love it. I need to order some more coffee pods. I usually keep my extra coffee pods back there and then my tea here. But that looks so much better. Let me know in the comments, can I keep this tea in this bag like this? Or does it need to be an airtight container? Because it's not wrapped like the rest of the tea. So let me know. But that looks so good, you guys. I love it. Okay, I'm getting ready to start on dinner. It's like 5.30. And I found this recipe off Pinterest. Never tried it. It had amazing reviews. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm hoping it turns out good. But it uses pretty much, I just typed on Pinterest, like chicken recipe. And it uses all of the ingredients I already have. So I don't have to go to the grocery store for anything. So chicken thighs. And it's cooked in like a bed of rice. I think I'm going to make some broccoli or maybe some broccolini. I haven't decided yet. And it said it was like a really simple and easy recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and cook this up and then I'll let you guys know how it turned out So this is the recipe that we're gonna be making tonight. It looks pretty simple to make um, So we're gonna start by making the marinade and then we're going to go ahead and do the rest of it I'm just following it on my phone. So let's go ahead and prepare um, What the chicken's gonna marinate in for about 15 minutes in the fridge So the recipe stated to mix everything in like a gallon sized bag so that way you can put the marinade in there and then add the chicken but i found it kind of difficult to hold the bag so what i'd probably do next time is mix the marinade in like a small mixing bowl and then pour it in the bag that would just be so much easier for me because it was kind of a struggle to kind of get it in there but i will make sure to link the recipe down below for you guys it was so so good like my husband has already asked for it again so definitely try it out it's not as intimidating as it looks. It does have quite a bit of steps, but it was worth it. I would definitely make it again for sure. else have a hard time following recipes correctly I always have to do my own little flair to recipes so um, it's stated to just chop up the lemon and put it on top but I ended up juicing the lemon in the marinade I just love lemon and then the olive oil that I use it's stated to just use regular olive oil I use my um, lemon infused olive oil that I get from Aldi and it just adds a whole nether layer of flavor so definitely don't be scared to make things your own I'm glad that I added the lemon juice because it was so flavorful and I think it would have still been flavorful without the lemon juice, but it definitely added some really good flavor to the chicken. recommend is getting yourself a cast iron pan. I use this for so many recipes. You can use it on the stovetop and the oven and you can cook at very high temperatures. Most of my nice pot and pans you can't go above like a medium high heat so I love my cast iron pan because I can really crank the heat up. I can really brown meat then I can finish cooking it in the inside of the oven. It just has so many great options so definitely recommend it. They're super affordable. You can get them from Amazon. Amazon, so I will link one down below for you guys. It's definitely worth having. I don't know how a cast iron pan does it, but it gets the meat that you cook it in so crispy. So like this chicken had such a good like crunch to it because we pan fry it and then we finish cooking it in the oven. So it was just so crispy and juicy. And I know I would have not been able to get that same crunch on just like a regular standard pan. So highly recommend the cast iron pan. So here 
here's how the recipe turned out. We rate this recipe a 10 out of 10. Well, my husband actually said a 15 out of 10. He actually requested for me to meal prep this out so we can have it for a couple of days for lunch, which is what I plan to do on Monday. So that way we'll have some lunches in the fridge. It was so good. I just steamed some broccoli to go with it. It was super easy. Now that I know how to make it, I can whip this up super fast. So highly recommend you guys give this recipe a shot. I had to share with you guys how tender the rice is. It's so soft and good, like the perfect consistency. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was like a mix of a whole bunch of different things, cleaning, a home update, sharing a delicious recipe. Let me know down below if you guys enjoy videos like this one, like a mix of stuff, or do you just like one topic, like just cleaning, just let me know. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, join the family here on my YouTube channel, and I'll have all of those things I shared with you guys linked down below so you can shop them, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.